Welcome to SAP S4 HANA simplification discussion. Today, let us discuss about finance and integration, particularly material ledger. Before we go and discuss about the material ledger in S4 HANA scenario, let us look at like what happens in the inventory valuation scenarios. If you look at finance, you have three currencies, local currency, which is company code currency and you have option of two other currencies local currency two and three normally global company can use one as a global currency and another as additional currency so these are the three currencies which are used for validating your regular accounting entry whereas when it comes to the inventory valuation without material ledger you have only one option of inventory valuation at the local currency values you can't find inventory values at different currencies only one currency it will evaluate and of course uh, in finance tables it, it will convert into the local currency two and three but when it comes to the inventory valuation you will have only one currency single currency valuation will be there without material ledger scenario if a material ledger is used then you have multiple currencies options are there so you can use local currency obviously the one which is the company code currency and then you have optional currency one and two you have additional currency so material ledger can have three currencies and all your inventories can be valued with the three currencies so multi-currency scenarios will be there in the material ledger and again uh, when it you when you think of uh, inventory valuation uh, from the costing perspective, maybe you can use uh, moving average price, you can use standard cost. When it comes to the material ledger, then again it is just like transaction which is moving average price and standard. Then if you have actual costing, then you can use multi level price determination, and then you know you can have optional actual cost. So these are the different kinds of elements which are part of your inventory valuation. Now let's look at middle ledger and its, its currency value. So as you are getting three currencies in finance, there are two currencies in controlling area, which is controlling model. One currency is a controlling area currency, and another is object currency, which is normally a company code currency itself. When you when you look at finance in the local currency one right the same currency will be object currency in co model then in metal ledger you have local currency obviously the local currency goes as a local currency and valuation is the same then the optional currency can be a controlling area currency or it can be a local currency two or local currency three or you know you can have local currency three into optional currency two and then also you can have a different currency so overall, if you see the material ledger valuation, um, currency settings are a little bit complex. And um, so that's what we can see here, right? So this is, you know, part of your non S4 HANA scenario, which is like current scenario as, as we see. When you look at what is happening in the SAP S4 HANA scenario, of the material ledger so let's look at finance carefully if you observe within finance itself we have controlling area currency here which means now finance tables itself will have co currency you don't require to have a separate you know, co currency so that's what is going to happen in the ac do ca table which is the universal journal which means finance itself has got like zero currencies included then material ledger is using all these currencies you know part of which are part of your leading ledger and then material ledger becomes part of your SDOC CA table which means material ledger is obligatory in S SAP S4 HANA scenario means S4 HANA architecture calls for material ledger activation automatically so part of your conversion, you know, the metal ledger will be activated. 
So, and then metallurgy being mandatory, actual costing, which is used for your actual costing trading into your COPA module, as well as actual costing for your evaluating your inventory. So, this still optional, you can use optional, optionally that actual costing, whereas the metallurgy is a mandatory plan. So, let us look at like what happens, uh, you know, as a simplification. Look at so many tables are there, like you know, MLIT, MNPP, MLBPF, like all these tables are used for storing your material ledger continuously the ledger information. All this table information is eliminated, which means entire data is stored in ACDO CA table, which is you know well known for our universal journal, and then MC SD table, which is like you know material ledger header table. Now it's automatically stored in the BKPF table, right? So that information is going into the BKPF table. And currency configuration, as we discussed in the previous uh, uh, slides, that all that is eliminated because now the leading ledger currency itself, your currency. So your metal ledger currency becomes like a leading ledger currency itself. And then insulation period for metal master records, you know, it's eliminated. So which means basically the material ledger core functionality is built into your leading ledger itself. So that is the reason you you have like no option such as like assignment to your uh, valuation areas, like for example, plants that you can don't require to assign, you don't require to uh, enable the currencies, you don't require to you know do these initial setups for the material ledger. And then uh, all this information, as we just now talked about, it's like getting stored in a CDO CA table, which is universal journal. And then the information for COPA and also the actual costing, you know, the inventory valuation for the actual costing will be derived from your ACDO CA table, which is the universal journal itself. So this is all simplification which is um, brought into your SAP S4 HANA or material ledger. Let us look at like for the migration projects, those who are going from ECC to SAP S4 HANA. Okay, so this is pretty much like you know the, the transition itself, you know, as we discussed, right? So the metal ledger will be activated. So the first and foremost thing what you have to do is that whether you have already ML, if you have already ML, you have a different kind of migration path. And if you don't have ML, then you have a different kind of migration path. So depending upon how your current setup is, uh, and also like there may be some situations, maybe it's very complex, meaning you already have in one plant metal ledger, another plant, there is no metal ledger, and you know, everything is now getting merged into uh, S4 HANA, ACDO CA table, universal journal. Once that happens, then you know, you have to take care of like metal ledger scenarios, non-metal ledger scenarios into SAP S4 HANA metal ledger scenarios. So the technical it is changing, the process wise is changing, you know, all that is changing. So from the migration project point of view, you have to think of like you have to decide whether you know you're still going to use standard cost or moving average prices. And then you know you have to decide whether you are going to use actual costing or uh, non-actual costing like optional. It's because it is optional. Then you have to decide like parallel valuation whether you are going to use. Uh, parallel valuation means like profit center valuation or your um, what do you call uh, group valuation. So in the parallel valuation is different from the currency valuation. Uh, I think uh, you guys know about that metal ledger very well. Uh, if you don't know, maybe again that is something that you need to uh, think about it. And then if the metal ledger is already active, some changes are required there. Uh, automatically you need to undertake so. Part of your, uh, you know, like activate and uh, ML is activated part of your conversion, right? So then from ECC to S4 HANA when you are going, so what we will say that like more business process discussions rather than, you know, technical stuff. Like technical things are changing, but at the same time, uh, since the material ledger is a conceptualization, it has got implications in uh, core inventory valuation as well as the values which are being given to your COPA module for the costing based actual cost component split and also for the inventory valuation. So all this is what you have to discuss, you have, you have to engage your business on the discussion by understanding all these implications for 
the material enter in the case of SCP S4 scenario. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully, this explained you what are the changes which are coming up in S4 HANA um, in our architecture. And uh, please uh, look for more presentations from us. And uh, do visit uh, SAP uh, SimplePenance.com that we are bringing out all the simple finance and simple logistics, all in a simple S4 architecture related presentation.